गणपति बप्पा मोरिया फुटचा वर्षी लव करिया गणपति बप्पा मोरिया मंगल मूर्ति मोरिया द फेमस चांट ऑफ गणेश चतुर्थी इट मीन्स द लॉर्ड ऑफ ऑल अ फादर वॉशिप बाई द पीपल ऑफ मोरिया विच इज द बर्थ प्लेस ऑफ गणपति इन कर्नाटका दे से कम होम सून होपफुली नेक्स्ट ईयर द प्यूरिटी इज इन इट्स अल्टीमेट फॉर्म इन आवर गणपति एनी वेज लेट्स मेक हिज फेवरेट स्वीट डिश द मोदक सो फर्स्ट आई एम गन एड अ टी स्पून ऑफ घी और क्लैरिफाइड बटर वी कॉल इट and as that's melting i'm going to add a cup of desiccated coconut that's another cup of desiccated coconut and before it burns let's just give that a good stir now desiccated coconut is lightly roasted already so you don't have to roast that too much a cup of jaggery i've taken the dark jaggery dark jaggery is more intense in its flavor anyways in the original recipe it's the fresh coconut that they use and it does make a difference in the taste and the consistency of the filling by the way i'm adding a teaspoon of cardamom powder made with both the skin and the seed i believe the flavor is in both but if you like a more intense flavor then it's just the seed that you want to add as this is cooking i'm also going to bring some water to boil this is to make our dough that's about 2 cups of water we'll continuously stir it or you'll land up burning the coconut at the bottom so the water is coming to a boil i'm adding a teaspoon of ghee while keeping my eyes on the desiccated coconut desiccated coconut is more delicate than your normal fresh coconut so you've got to keep stirring it continuously now i'm going to add just about half a teaspoon of salt and then as that's coming to a boil i'm going to add two cups of rice flour that there goes one cup and now the second we'll just turn this off and add two tablespoons water this is to break the jaggery melt it down and make it sticky once it's got a consistency like this turn the gas off and transfer it to another container to avoid it from burning the water is extremely hot you don't want to put your hands there you just got to stir it like that with your spoon now this is how moist it's got to be leave that for just about 10 minutes until it cools down and then we'll knead it into a dough so i have kept this closed just to keep the dough a little soft now i'm transferring that into my kneading bowl and i'm going to knead this into a soft dough if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet It's a good time to subscribe to it now and to get more recipes you can also hit the bell icon on the right side you'll get all my fresh content of recipes Do you see this is how soft it is and now we'll just add a teaspoon of oil just on the top layer of it and we'll allow it to sit for just about 5 minutes while we make balls for these fillings I'm going to roll this into nice balls. Unlike the fresh coconut, desiccated coconut finds it difficult to stick along, so you won't be able to make those really sticking balls, but a ball just as firm as this one is good enough. So I'm just going to take a portion of the dough and now I'm going to flatten them to small um uh, flat doughs. But to flatten it I'm going to take some oil put it on this roll it completely and I'm also going to take some oil and oil my rolling stick and then we're going to make small round flat doughs All right so I'm going to take one of the filling and then we bend a hand like this and we make folds like this there goes the mold that ready to make the karanji just first wet the edges so it becomes easy for it to stick while we make the karanji 
Now we'll add one of the filling. We break it and just make it more longitudinal. Be careful not to add too much of filling because then your karanji can break. Now I have, my hands are dirty so I'll just clean that a bit. And then we just fold it like this. Be gentle with it. Just close the edges. Press it a little bit so it sticks together. Just give it its nice design. So look, I have my karanji and my modak here. We're gonna steam this. I'm gonna place this here in two cookers. First, I'm gonna add some water to both of these pieces. I'm gonna place this here. Oh, that's gonna be difficult. Yeah. Steam the both of them for 10 minutes. Good job.